Morning all, you've been asking about my husband's garden and today I'm going to do a quick rundown. I'm leaving my garden and I want to do a little bit of what he's done. Hopefully I can keep this short so I won't do too much. Oh, there's a tub of ubies. Came up in my compost so he moved him here. That's the purple yam. We've got the path here which he covered in wood chips. This used to be muddy and so you couldn't walk into the house during the rains. And he built these stairs out of bricks. So you couldn't walk in the house. You'd walk in after a rainstorm and oh my gosh, you're dragging all the mud. So he built these stairs and then he built these stairs. And these are done out of bricks that he picked up. I, he bought some. I guess he found some, I don't know. He had baby lizards at things like the size of a quarter. <laughs> but anyways, let's go down the stairs. He also built these rails for me. See, I'm getting old, so he wanted to make sure I don't fall. No, I don't know, it's just easier, but he built the stairs. Um, oh, real quick, he cut away part of the mountain, so he's made like paths so he can plant things. See, there's, that's a dead avocado tree, and the fire department said it's better not to remove them because the roots hold the, the land in. So just trim them back, which he did, and so he planted a purple yam there. Uh, a UB and that's coming up. Of course he's got purple yams here. Here's um, some of the things he picks up. That's a dishwasher. He runs and checks all the dishwashers that people throw out and he only wants the metal ones. They last longer. So that's a metal dishwasher. And there's another path he cut out a little bit. Actually we're gonna go further down. Here's another purple yam. He loves his yams. And this is again the stairway. I'm trying to do this film and not break my neck. See another walkway? I don't know if you can see this, but this is a fence he put in. And he put, put all these purple yams on the bottom. They're all ubies. And they're growing. And see the stairs he built? He built these. He with this is all a lot of it is found material. See, this is dishwasher there. And then dishwasher, he put a box around it. He's got a sunflower there. But um, a lot of this stuff has been thrown out. Construction sites, when they're piling stuff to throw out, he'll stop over and they'll say, oh yeah, take what you want. Here's another dishwasher. I think on this hillside alone where I'm standing right now, he's got one, two, three, there's four here that I see. That doesn't mean there's not more. Okay, so then we go down, as you can see, all wood chips and again, all ubies. Oh, look, look. Look at one of our friends. Let's see if I can zoom in real quick. See? Can you see my rabbits? We almost lost all our rabbits. And he's going down the stairs. My husband built in the stairs. Isn't that cute? So they use the stairways. And these are all purple yams. He loves his purple yams, his ubies. They're growing everywhere. And we're going to go down the stairs. I don't come down here too often. I'm working all day. I work all night. I get very little sleep. Shame on me. And it's so sunny and bright, so I don't even know how this is filming. I hope it's doing okay. Again, more stairs that he built with rails, because this was all a hillside. So he built the stairs. And he's got the platform here and all wood chips. And let's walk over here. And there's his bananas. Let's see, he is down here, so I can ask him questions. Gary, yes. what kind of banana trees do you have here? Well, so this one's my plantain. When I got it a couple of months ago, it was only maybe 18 inches tall, so it's taking off. And the next one, my favourites, these are um, not ice cream banana. So that's a goldfinger back gold there. When I got that a year ago, it was about eight or nine inches tall, and it's starting to flower. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. And <laughs> I've got five bunches of bananas, goldfinger, that have set fruit. This one was a freebie, so I don't know what variety it is. 
might be a super dwarf Avenesh, but it's got tiny little finger-sized bananas. Okay, I don't know if you can hear because he's far and the mic's not real good on this camera. He said it's a, it's a super dwarf cav cavadit. How do you... Uh, I believe it might be a super dwarf Cavendish, but I don't know. It didn't have a label. Okay. And the other one at the end is a gold finger as well. All right. And then here you've got, these are all sweet potatoes. These are sweet potatoes. There's eight or nine different varieties of sweet potatoes. Then I've got two varieties of turmeric, the regular and the white. And I also have a ginger that come up in the middle here. Got more turmeric over in my yam bed. So the beds are built out of the bricks, these uh, cinder, block. cinder block bricks. This is lemongrass. Wait a minute. That's lemongrass? Is that lemon balm? No, lemongrass. Oh, lemongrass. Okay. And this is pigeon pea. Oh, pigeon pea. I've just got a bunch of things scattered in here to confuse the insects. He likes confusing insects, and me too. Um, yeah, I've got baby bell peppers on the other side. Oh, let's walk around the other side. I'll go this way. Let's try to walk around. Then I'll kind of zip around. Oh! How come I don't see this stuff? You do, but I, I told you I had to harvest more. So I've got baby bell peppers. And these are the seedlings we grew in the house over winter that we brought out, right? Yes, these are the seedlings. Oh, wow. The dill's already gone to flower and dropped seeds, so that's going to be self sown. Um, I wanted you to look up, look at this. How tall is the UBs growing here? I know they've wrapped around multiple yeah, times already. Well, the vines themselves would have to be maybe 30 foot long now. But what about the this uh, structure? What's the structure? The... I think is about 18 feet tall. 18 feet tall. Okay. Okay. And I see these onions. Oh, you're pulling onions yeah, already. These are onions. Oh, good. I'm so going to have to. When you ask for an onion, I just come down here and I find one that's. Good, because I want an onion this morning for breakfast. I'm going to go in and make. So, like, I'll pick up a white one like this, just pluck it out of the ground. Okay, that's a little bigger than I wanted, but okay. Well, I can find a smaller one. No, no, that's okay. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. All right, I see you have a tub there. What's growing in the tub over there? That's one of my tubs. That's one of your compost. I brought it down here because a yubi started to sprout in there, or a yubi skin. And this is a squash. There's some Korean melon seeds that are coming up, and a few things that have to be transplanted out. I've got one, one Jerusalem artichoke. I've got canners growing along the fence here that I just chop and drop. I feed those to my bananas. Those are all cannons, you call them? Cannons. Can say that again? Canna. Cannas. Cannas. Some I don't grow that. People call them canna lilies, but they're cannas. Oh, canna lilies. Okay, my grandmother used to grow that in her yard. I recognize that. They're, they're For flowers. Like, they're in the ginger family with bananas and ginger. Okay, so you've got peppers, you guys see Swiss chard in some places. This is all more sweet potatoes. There's a hot tub he picked up. Oh, you got that one at a yard sale for 20 bucks, I think, right? Is that yeah. the one? And then you've got an old refrigerator you picked up. Yeah, a lot of this I'm just letting go to seed. So I'll we'll sell seed. Okay. Okay. All right. That's my minute, my small Thai galangal, and it's just starting to come back. Usually, it's about this tall, and that stays green over the winter. It doesn't really go dormant. And what is that called again? Thai galangal. What is that? I don't even it's know what that is. Family. Oh, it's in the ginger family. Okay, like I said, he grows a lot of stuff. I have no idea what he's growing. He'll suddenly bring something in and start eating it, and I didn't even know where he got it. There's this Swiss chard where we're growing. That's the red one. I'm trying to do this before the sun gets so super bright. I didn't make it out in time. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of stuff that I don't even think he knows is here. Got more ginger in here. Okay, so you got ginger all through here, and I see the garlic chives. Garlic chives. The Chinese chives. I bought them as Chinese chives, and 
the garlic chives, so I, I don't know. Oh, these are not from my garden. These are the ones you bought? Yeah. And they sold you something else. Well, it might be the same plant under a different name. Okay, and then there's the cac there's that little cactus that somebody gave you. Yeah, this is the thornless. It flowered, but it didn't set fruit, so I don't know if it's going to produce a good fruit. Oh, well, there's his garden. Like I said, there's probably a lot more he didn't even talk about. Is asparagus growing? He's got stuff covered there. I don't know My what it is. Purple asparagus. I, I put it in the hot tub. Not, but I wasn't sure if the rabbits were going to eat it, and I found out, well, the rabbits don't seem to like asparagus, so they didn't come back so well this year, so they're going out of the hot tub come winter, and I'll remove some of the canners and put it along the fence. Okay, well, I see one right now that I may grab. Look at that, and they're good raw. I know that. This is Purple Passion. I grow a lot of purple type foods. I'm going to make a circle right now. I'm going to keep walking because now the sun's coming out and I can't see what I'm filming anymore. So I'm kind of on my own. Here's, here's some of his piles of wood chips and his cart he made. He bought that at a yard sale, just a plastic part, and he put on his own wheels and stuff. And then there's trees all through here. I know he's slowly taking out the Brazilian pepper trees. Right now they're good for shade and it actually blocks well too. And he's got his apple trees. And papaya? Strawberry papaya. It died back and it branched out, so it's got a lot of branches on it. I see that on the bottom too. They will set fruit from the different branches. If you don't want a tall papaya, you can block them off at a certain height and they'll, they'll branch so they won't get so tall. But this, this almost died. There's two here, and they almost died, and they branched. So. Okay. And he's got all this, and like I said, there's... I see an apple that the deer missed. Grew yeah, back. I have to bag this one up. I bagged one up already, so I have to bag this one up. Oh, I see the bag. Well, that'll keep the deer from eating. I know they got back into my broccoli again. They ate the broccoli, tall, tall broccoli I had. They ate it down. And I see all kinds of berries growing yeah, here. That's my blackberries on, on a rebar frame. I use rebar instead of fencing wire because this is pretty much permanent. I won't have to tighten it up or tension it. Okay. You can, I know you're making, you're putting a video together in detail. Yeah. Here's an avocado tree that's growing below the graft, I know. And or asparagus that came oh, up. Oh, look I've at that. It. That's how I know the rabbits won't eat it, because th this zone out here will be where the rabbits can live. And I'll fence my garden off so rabbits can't get in, then I can just plant straight in the ground in there. So here in the ground, you can grow asparagus and the rabbits won't eat it. Is that a jackfruit? What's growing on? I'm not sure what that. I thought it was an avocado, but now I'm not sure what it is. You didn't. You had so many jackfruit growing. Is did you didn't stick one there? Did you? Uh, this came out of the wood chips. Oh, it came out of the wood chips. So it could be anything. Okay. Kabocha squash. Oh, kabocha. All right. Well, there is his garden. He's working on fencing out the deer. He collects stuff. I don't really want to go through all that, but anything he finds on the side of the road, he brings home and he's got his junk pile. Okay, I'm going to keep walking and make a circle out of this. All these trees he planted, and they were little nothing one inch, two inch trees, and in a matter of, a, what, five years, they, they were giant. And then we'll just continue up. There's, uh, gua not guava, what is that again? Loquat? Loquat. Okay, we got loquat. We got, see, it's very hilly here. All right, now I'm going to keep on going. And see, they've been dumping wood chips. Now, this wood chip pile, even though I know he has moved some of it, this was above the top of that block wall. So just by sitting here, it has sunk. And the kids come, when they come over, the grandkids, they play, and the cousins, they all play on it. They like 
climbing on the hillside. We've got some citrus trees now up there. Orange and we've got lemon trees and grapefruit. He's got berries, but it's too dry because the wind blows and the land there gets really dry on the surface. So a lot of plants don't do that well, but he's working on it. He's working on what he's going to do. And then this is where he sifts his machine. But again, he's doing a whole video on this. And I can't see because of the sun glare, so I'm even hoping that I'm getting that. But he can get his cart under this and work on this. It's really neat here because we've been out here. And of course you saw the rabbit a little bit ago. We have rabbits. And we've been standing out here where a bobcat has just come out and didn't even care we were here and go walk around. Oh, there's some of the wood that I told you they dropped off. He's been splitting it and moving it around. So we have firewood. So he's been piling up the wood. The other thing too is he piles it up in a way like here's one. He piles it up so the rabbits have hiding places. Because we almost lost all our rabbits. The coyotes were coming in and they were wiping everything out. So he started making habitats for them. Oh, he doesn't know if it's that good. But he did make habitats for them. And this way the rabbits have come back. So we have our numbers back up. Not as big as it was, but we do have quite a few rabbits. You can see on the hillside there. That's ground squirrel. And they do, they do a lot of damage. They can undermine buildings, so you got to be careful with them. They just do all that. And then that's basically it. Uh, when the trucks can come down, they will come down this dirt road we have on our property. See? I want you to see this. This is when they brought this was, I didn't realize he got two truckloads of firewood that day. They called, they said they had some ash and people killed for that. They want their, their ash, so they talked him into drop mom. We told them, all right, so they dropped it off. And there's more. I think he's going to explain what he's doing there. I believe he set that up for bees. And I think I see bees flying in, in there, so I didn't know. But he saw something that you could make a beehive out of an old barbecue, which we had. Hence, we don't barbecue anymore. <laughs> No, but anyway, so this is more wood chips. So when they can, they will come with the truck and they will drive down here. They can go, as you can see, all the way down and they can drop it anywhere he wants. So they've dropped, dropped it different places down here. This looks, it's got a lot of green to it, so it might be one of the newer ones. He's been getting a lot of loads. But that's basically it. It's a, this is a quick video on his garden. Um, I can't get in here because I know that inside these are olive trees. He's put a lot of wood. He's put a lot of um, tree branches and stuff and made habitats for the skunks. He's made habitats for the rabbits to bring back. But this is it. This is the valley of our property. And that's his little haven. He goes down there. I'll be honest, I don't go down there that often. Only because I'm so busy. I really hope that I can retire someday. When I'm what, a hundred? I don't know when I'm gonna retire. But see, there's more, that's the backside of the wood chips that they just dropped off. There's the backside of our truck. So that's the tour of his garden. I planted that. I think I planted that about a year ago stuck it in where I saw water was coming down the hill and now look how big it is that's that cactus plant is a succulent plant but he's got wood chips all through here and that's it so I've made kind of a circle to go down again this is only part of our property the other part is covered in avocado trees and other things and that's why we couldn't grow a garden I had a friend come out once and say, why don't you pull all the avocado trees down? No, you could never replace avocado trees. I would never pull the avocado trees down. They had a rough time the past couple years because of the drought, the avocado trees, but a lot of them are coming back. So it looks like we have avocados again. So we'll see what happens. 
I guess in the fall and the winter we should have avocados because they usually do two crops. So we'll see this year because we had a lot of rain. So now you've seen my husband's garden. And then we go back up here. And these are the wood chips that just came that, um, oh see he's dug through. He's already took a lot out of here. Because these just came the other day. He, I think he got three or four loads. I'm not even sure how many loads he got. Sometimes we don't even know they're here and they just drop off. So that's the circle of my husband's garden. He's doing his own video where he can go into detail. See, I think he only said very little of what's there. And then we're back to the top of the hill of my garden. And there's the wood chips. If it wasn't for this, we would have nothing as far as gardening. This is no joke. I have lived here since 1988. I've tried to garden and I would get a little bit here and there, but it was, a, it was terrible. You really couldn't get much. And it was a struggle. And like I have said in other videos, I had to go to the store and buy you know, buy garden uh, soil. I'd have to buy potting mix and garden soil and it became expensive. It wasn't worth it for me. I, you know, raising kids and, and trying to garden and put money out and then the squirrels would eat it. It wasn't worth it. So I gave it up for many, many years. And then he came up with this three years ago. This is all new. Three years ago when he did some research on wood chips and found back to Eden gardening that's when he started bringing it in and that's when I said it was a nightmare because I had no idea what he was doing truckloads and truckloads he started first by his pickup truck just picking up he found somebody that was giving it away and he was picking it up but it's changed the land everything is green everything wants to grow like he showed he's got asparagus coming up now where he didn't plant him, he's got kabocha squash coming up. He did not plant that. He's got a lot of stuff coming up. I mean, okay, this is celery that all went to seed. I didn't plant this. I planted some of the mint down here. That's orange mint, there's chocolate mint. That I did plant, but the celery, I didn't plant the celery. It's coming up from seed. I'm pulling it out as fast as it comes up. I left a couple. So I've got that. Um, look at my moringa tree. That was a bin, that's a trash can there. Bottom's cut open, so it's on the ground. This is that hard, awful, dusty clay type material. Loaded that thing up with broken down wood chips, dug it out from the center of one of the piles, and I did throw in a little bit of llama manure in there, and uh, topped it up with more broken down wood chips, and that's a moringa tree. And that tree's only a few months old. It's growing really fast. So I'm not gonna do one on my garden because I do it periodically. I just wanted to make a point that we would... Okay, you know what? My camera stick is not running out. It's my camera shutting off on me. As I was saying before my camera so rudely shut off on me, we would have no garden here if it wasn't for the wood chips. We could not grow anything, and we could not put out hundreds and hundreds of dollars every season to try to grow something. We just couldn't do it. We can't afford it, and it wasn't going to happen. With the wood chips, the only thing we're buying is the occasional bags that when I go to the hardware store, as you can see there, I've explained broken bags they'll sell for 50 to 75 percent off they told me if I take them all I can have them for 75 percent off sounds good to me it only comes out to be a few bucks a bag and I have some extras to do some seedlings and other things so now you've had the garden tour of the circle again this is only a small part of the property but you, you got an idea of what he's doing and like I said I'm I'm up here in my own world doing my own thing. Yes, he brings home stuff that he finds out in the trash or people throwing away like they were throwing away this thing and I composted, getting ready to plant in it and everything came up. And there's another tub there that bottoms cut open. There's my tubs. I didn't plant this. This is stuff coming up from seed. There's a few pots in there that I just 
sat on top. I love doing that. I'll have to explain that in another video because um, I'll be composting. And while I'm composting, I'll just sit some pots on top with plants in it, potted plants. And then they just take off and I can move them anywhere I want. But see, this is my world. And that is my husband's world. Again, this is only part of it because it continues on, but that's all the avocado trees. But that's his world and that's his junk pile that he collects metal or somebody giving away free chain link or whatever. And then he's working on the hillside here too. There's more stuff behind it. So that's a quick garden tour. Have a great day, everybody. And don't forget to eat what you grow. It's so good for your health. Bye-bye.